how to create the Indiana Jones scrolling map. First thing you want to do is go ahead and create a new composition. I'm going to call mine scrolling map. You can call it whatever. Uh, and then click OK. Next step we want to do is go ahead and add in our images into our composition. So what we'll need is uh, you can just go on Google Images and find any of these. Uh, first we'll need a world map. Uh, the larger the image the better. A uh, picture of some clouds. Again, a bigger image for that. And then also an image of a airplane. Uh, go ahead and take that image to Photoshop and you want to just cut out the background so all you have is the airplane. Let's go ahead and take our map and drop it down to the timeline. This will be the first thing we're going to play around with as we uh, move around from our stops that we want to use. Bring up the uh, transform keys there. Let's find where we're going to start. I think I'm going to start right around in Sweden somewhere and I guess we'll just go with the capital. Stockholm will sit there. Now it makes it a lot easier if you go ahead and turn on the title and action safe. So now we have our first location. So let's go down to transform there and hit the little stopwatch on position. And then we're going to move ahead uh, to make keep it an even number. I'm going to use five seconds until our next stop. Now we're going to go ahead and move the map around and put the cursor there on Spain. And we'll make a quick stop in Madrid. So we'll come down, make another keyframe, move up another five seconds, and pick another spot on your map. I'm going to bring it down and put it somewhere in Nigeria. Another keyframe there. Let's move the timeline, move it up ahead another five seconds. So now we're at 15. Come across and make a quick stop in Brazil somewhere on the coast doesn't really matter again you can pick anywhere else on the map you want jump ahead another five seconds let's go ahead and pick another spot on the map it's close to spring break so we'll go ahead and make a stop in Cancun and then our final stop we'll just bring it back home here in Pittsburgh right up top so for that final five second interval we end up in Pittsburgh and you can go back and forth and we have five different locations we're gonna I guess you can say visit. Now for our start and end locations we're gonna want to zoom in a little bit so here at Pittsburgh I'm gonna zoom in to about 150 and bring the map back onto the crosshair there and line it up with Pittsburgh and then go ahead and turn on the stopwatch. Now let's go back to our next location which is in Cancun. Bring it to 125, move the map back over and line up that crosshair with Cancun there and we'll be good to go on to the next one. So add in that keyframe and move back to your last point and that would be in Brazil. Let's go ahead and zoom out to 100% where it normally would be. As you see it's already lined up there so we'll, we're good there. Add in the keyframe move to the next spot Nigeria that's where it's at we're gonna add a keyframe there and just leave it at 100 let's go to Spain let's bring it in let's do the same thing about half same as we did for Cancun so we'll put it at 125 line up the crosshair again and make sure that keyframes there and then for our starting point which I'm using in Sweden we'll go ahead and zoom into 150 like we did for Pittsburgh at the end point and we'll be zoomed in at the beginning as we line up the crosshair once again and make sure that keyframe's there. Here's what we got going on. Next thing we're going to add is the line that will actually draw on our map as we move around. So to do that, let's go ahead over to our effects and presets menu over on the right side of your screen. Scroll around until you find generate and click on that to open up the rest of the menu. Find right on that's what we're going to use so go ahead and click that or drag it over to the left and we're going to go ahead and choose the color that we want to use for our line I'm going to use red the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is select the targets on our map where we're going to draw the line on click on the little target right above the color selection and it will come a little target on your screen and click 
where we actually stopped there. So we're going to line it up with the crosshair and on that capital. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. But, but before you go to the next one, make sure you turn on the brush position stopwatch there. So let's go ahead and go to the next key point on your timeline, five seconds ahead, which for me was in Spain. And we're going to go ahead and click the target and put it there. And just go all the way through your map. So I'm going to move up to the next keyframe and put one in Nigeria. The next keyframe and put one in Brazil. The next keyframe and target down in Cancun. And go to the next keyframe and put a target on our final position in Pittsburgh. And now we see we got a line all the way through our map as we bring it all the way back around that stops at each of the destinations on our map. Now the one problem is that map is all windy and bendy. We don't want that. We want to make sure that it's straight and narrow. Open up the right on tab and we're going to highlight the brush position in Keller on the actual timeline. You're going to control click on the first keyframe for brush position and go to keyframe interpolation and you'll see the top one says linear under temporal interpolation the middle one change that to linear as well so it matches the top and after you change that go ahead and click OK and it should straighten out your lines so they're not all curvy like they were before we'll move the playhead forward a little bit and see everything is straight and narrow so we're good with the right on and now the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to make the map look a little older and change the color a little bit go up to your effects and presets one more time and find color correction it'll open up the rest of the menu and we're going to go ahead and choose CC toner let's go ahead and drag that over to the left and you'll see it's going to change our map uh, to primary of white brown and black now you can go ahead and mess around with these colors just a little bit uh, make the map look the way you want kind of give that old kind of feel and after you're done playing around with the different colors you'll notice that our line was also affected by the CC toner color correction so the way we can change that is go ahead and click and drag it above right on once you do that your line should turn back to the color that you chose the next step will make the map look a little more fancier we're going to create a little highlight for the middle of the map create a new layer go down to solid call it whatever you want I'm just going to leave it as black solid one and you'll see it's going to change our screen to black so we're going to go up and grab our ellipse tool and we're going to create an ellipse at the top left part of the screen, drag it down and really want to make it as big as you really want to make it. I'm just going to try and keep it in that first box. So when you got it, leave it there. And as you can see, it's still blocking out the middle of the map and that's going to be a problem. So let's come down to our ellipse there under our black solid layer and click on the inverted tab you see the little checkbox there click on that and it'll invert everything so now the blacks on the outside now you can go ahead and play around with the mask feather the expansion opacity other whatever way you want to do to make it look better as you can see on the edges it'll just make it a little darker or lighter whichever way you prefer so go ahead and play around with that as much as you want I'm gonna leave mine at 350 for the mask feather and I'll put the mask expansion at 50 pixels. 